Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to create a new local admin account in Windows using PowerShell. Alright, so I got this from a user on Reddit, so I did not create this myself, but I tried it out and it works pretty well. So there are two versions of this. Uh, this is the first one here. Here's the unedited version, and all you need to really do is put in the name and the password for the local user, which I did here. But this did not work for me for some reason, so I actually uh, posted it back on Reddit to see if I could find out why. But there is a secondary version that did work for me. So we're going to try this one first just to show you what it does. So here's the PowerShell script right here. I'm going to copy this. I have the name and password for the user ready to go here. I also changed the description to admin instead of administrator, owner, boss. So here's what happens. You're going to have to do an admin PowerShell prompt to uh, do this here. So I'm going to run PowerShell as administrator. All right, so I'm going to paste this in. And this part is where I also got a little confused. So when it asks for password, I'm assuming the password for the local account we're trying to create here. So here's the error that I get. So the name u slash new user splat is invalid and so on. And then it gives some other information here. Principal Bob is not found and so on like that. All right. So now we have the screen cleared here. So like I said, I'm not sure why that error occurs. But if I do find out, I will put it in the description for people watching this in the future. So the one we're going to use that does work is this one here, a little more simplified. So I did change the username and password here. I just changed the password to password. Obviously, you're going to want something a little more complex than that. And it's going to be added to the administrators group. All right, so let's copy this. So before we do that, let's go into the users and see what we have. other users. So we have another Microsoft account to go along with this Microsoft account. All right, so let's go back to PowerShell, paste this in. All right, the command completed successfully. Go back into users. Other users. So now we have Steve, who is an administrator with a local account. All right, so now we're going to try logging in as Steve and see what happens. Put in the password that I just made, the nice complex password. All right, so of course it's going to have to do the new user profile setup since it's the first time logging on. So I will pause it and be back when this step is complete since this takes a few minutes. All right, so it's going to want to go through all this stuff for privacy. I always turn everything off because Microsoft doesn't need to know what they don't need to know. All right, so now we have our desktop here with Steve with the local account. We go into File Explorer, C Drive, Users. He has his user account folder there as well. You can see the other Microsoft accounts. All right, so let me. Log off Steve here. We'll go back to the other account. All right, so as you can see, it's super quick. You don't have to go through the other stuff about answering security questions. So, of course, you're not going to be able to use those security questions if you forget your password. So, that's one downside, I suppose. All right, so I will put both of these in the description here, assuming uh, YouTube lets me, because sometimes if you have funky characters, it won't let you put that in the description. So if it doesn't, then I'll just put a text file attachment that you could download, and then you could just go ahead and change this one, try it out for yourself. And if it doesn't work, then you could try out this one, which worked just fine for me. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.